forward. Hurricane Allen joins them on the far side. Callaman Johnny Murta goes forward now. They're ready for the St. James's Palace. Stand by. And they're racing. Statue of Liberty slow into stride, and so too was Hold That Tiger. No confirmed front runner here or trailblazer, and Mick Canan now grabs the uh, nettle and goes on here on France. Uh, leads by two or three lengths on settling down. From in second, Indian Haven up there in third, Monsieur Bond from Clodaville who settles fourth. Zafine is further back in the field from Hurricane Allen and Cal Calaman back in the field as they sort themselves out from Toot Searle. Hold that Tigers well out the back. Statue of Liberty is absolute last, and Martillo is back second last. The leader, though, is France by two lengths on settling from Indian Haven on the inside of Monsieur Bond. Two lengths away is Clodaville, who's traveling on the inside of Zafine, who's perfectly uh, positioned. A length further back then is Two Searle, the red uh, jacket on the extreme right as we change camera angle. Back in the field, Calaman right in the center of runners from Hurricane Allen. Further back then is Hold That Tiger as they near the corner, and Statue of Liberty giving them a big start. They turn the corner now, and the leader, France, on the inside from Monsieur Bond, and in behind the them is Indian Haven followed by Zafine out wider Clodaville getting right up on the inside he's getting openings now Calaman switched to the inside from two Searle and further back as Hurricane Allen inside the two France is now being swallowed up Zafine hits the front on the outside Monsieur Bon had to be checked then Clodaville Calaman hasn't picked up at all then Martillo and right down the outside to Searle but Zafine goes for home inside the furlong goes two or three in front now Calaman gets busy on the outside he's putting in the giant strides but it's going to be too late. Zafine had the better sprint in the end, and Zafine goes on to win the St. James's Palace Stakes. Second, Calaman. Third, Martillo. Followed by Hold That Tiger, Clodaville, then Hurricane Allen, to Searle from the Statue of Liberty. Further back then, Monsieur Bond with France, and Indian Haven has finished a long last. The winner is Zafine. Winner of the St. James's Palace Stakes for Mick Channon gets up to beat Calaman, who couldn't sprint when he had to. The turn of foot wasn't there. Martillo finished third, then in fourth on the near side. Looks like hold that target just ahead of Clodeville. Then Hurricane Allen from two Searle, the Red Jacket. Statue of Liberty didn't pick up. Then France, who was the early trailblazer, but uh, dropped tamely away from Monsieur Bond. And uh, still a couple more to come. Uh, Indian Haven, actually the last to finish, a big disappointment. The winner, though, is number 11, Zafine. If you could forget about Ireland, then uh, he was entitled to be much shorter than he's finished. The ground, of course, there was uh, on the heavy side. The winner is number 11, Zafine, owned by Jabber Abdullah, trained by Mick Channon and ridden by Daryl Holland. Change of jockey today. Second, number six, Calaman, owned by His Highness the Aga Khan, trained by Sir Michael Stout, ridden by Johnny Murta. And third is number seven, Martillo, owned by Gestur Hunyard Hoof, trained by Ralph Suland and ridden by William Mongeel. And fourth, number three, hold that tiger, Kieran Fallon. Zafine, though, putting the writing on the wall, with his good second at Newmarket and follows up today at 8-1. to one. Well, Daryl Holland came on the outside. You can see the eventual winner there. That's Zafine, but just look to the inside. Indian Haven, as he starts to drop back through the field, interferes with Calaman right behind him. We'll run the tape from here and just have a look at that interference first because Zafine is making ground nicely on the outside. Nothing wrong with him. But Indian Haven possibly not enjoying the ground. Maybe that was the problem. He just starts to wander about here under pressure. And as Johnny Murta is going for the gap on Calaman and Clodeville is moving out from that far rail, there's a big squeeze up and Indian Haven drops back to finish almost last. He seems to get into trouble. He's had four runs this year, uh, or three runs, and he's been in trouble twice. Uh, and uh, he was in trouble there. But Calaman does very well to run on then to actually take second place because he looked like he actually got struck into. And uh, Clodeville uh, plods on actually but does, and doesn't run a great race, doesn't show that turn of foot. In fact, the German horse has run a stunning race, Martillo, to take third lovely, place. Lovely, big, strong horse he is as well. But Calaman, you might consider to have been unlucky. He'll he's get further. He's a horse that a mile is his shortest trip. He will be a much better horse at a mile and a quarter. But this Zafine, who it was he was slightly unlucky in our, thousand, uh, in our 2000 guineas. He got into a little bit of trouble and finished second that day. And he's just shown today that uh, with the change of jockey, it's unfortunate for Steve Brown to have uh, been replaced by Daryl Holland. But Daryl gave the horse a great ride on the outside. And another Royal Ascot success for trainer Mick Shannon, his eighth. Well, Mick uh, couldn't really understand what went wrong at the Curra, but uh, the evidence does suggest 
about the ground that day was a factor. Zafine, who had been a fine second at Newmarket behind, refused to bend, has now put the record straight today and has won his own.